I have returned. It has been a hot minute and I have not been posting a lot of videos because I think I got very overwhelmed with everything that was going on in my life it, towards the end of 29, 2020. Oh shit, we're in 2021. Well, yeah, so life got a little bit messy. What's new? I'm a messy person. And um, I ended up taking a little bit of a break from filming videos of my day to day because um, I needed space. So thank you for giving me space. But here I am now. This weekend, a lot is going on because I'm also going to my friend's wedding later on. It's going to be at Luth. Uh, I've never been there before. It's the Feng Hangri Li place. I know a lot of people know that, that bar, but I have personally never visited it before. It's a little bit crazy because now for most events, you can't bring a plus one because of the restriction on, on number of guests. And honestly, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it saves a lot of people from unwanted socialization. Because <laughs> you're no longer obligated to go as a plus one to someone's event. And that's the introvert in me speaking up very loudly. Uh, it's a long day, so I want my makeup to be long lasting. I have really primed my face and slept sunblock on, that's very important. The light here is not great, so honestly, don't know how much bronzer I'm putting, but I'm just gonna put... This one is from Laura Mercier, and uh, it comes with bronzer, highlight, as well as cheeks, blush blush. I have not been attending a lot of weddings because of all the COVID restrictions. Most of the weddings have gone virtual. Um, this is, in fact, the first wedding that I'll be attending since COVID hit last year. And I'm a little bit excited, also because it's gonna be at a bar, it's not the ROM, it is just a, like a wedding celebration thing, which sounds a lot more fun than traditional wedding banquets. Mm. So this is a first and I'm excited. Satisfying meal, I would say, and <sighs> I'm satisfied. Editing Chow jumping right in. Uh, I am currently editing this vlog, and I realized that I said a lot of stuff that were quite incoherent. So I just want to rephrase myself and reiterate my main points. But also check out my new hair. I posted it on my IG yesterday, and um, this is how I look now. Okay, the floor, the floor, the floor. Okay, this is where my bangs vanish. <sighs> what happened in the past few months was that I was very overwhelmed with a lot of pressure I was putting onto myself and also I think there were factors around me that made me feel this way. So when it came to demands from my work, demands from my personal life, from my relationships with friends, with families, I think I couldn't handle the stress that was being put on my shoulders. And anyway, I'm back with a video today because I, I know and I recognize that when I talk and when I do these little videos and recollect bits of, of my own life, it helps me to consolidate my feelings and what has happened. And this always helps me 
with my reflection. And I'm happy to share these moments with everyone out there that's uh, tuning in also, which I really appreciate because it's super encouraging whenever I see anyone commenting or if, if people just really tell me that, hey, I saw your vlog and it was nice to watch. That's all I like, really. I, it feels good. Mm. Oh, so one thing that I've been doing in order to iron out the tangles in my head and try to put things down in more clearly for me is to write things in my notebook. I've been journaling more and uh, I have also done this to-do list of everything that I have to accomplish, right? Uh, be it work-related, be it personal work-related. So on this list, you get this arrow over here. It's the important arrow. And then this arrow over here is the urgency arrow. And I categorize the stuff that I have to do into how important and how urgent they are so that I know what to tackle first. If I could give you an example, right? Something that is important and urgent is health-related because I think we shouldn't take our health for granted. Anyone that knows me personally and hearing me say this now probably wants to smack my face, but yes, we shouldn't take health for granted. One of the things that I've been needing to get done is an x-ray and to book another TCM appointment for my, my hip. <laughs> I'll elaborate more about that another time, but that's one thing. Uh, something that is not urgent but also important is to verify some of the payments that I've been supposed to I've supposed to receive lah, which I have not. Those are like bookkeeping matters. It's not super urgent because it's not um something that re has a deadline, but it's still important. And um, something else that is not urgent and not important would be to buy a sewing machine because that's something that I've been trying to explore because I pretty much need to alter all the clothes that I get anyway since I'm small. Yeah, so it's not urgent, not important, but still something that I want to get done just to give you an idea of how my list works. Mm. Anyway, I just want to say thank you for tuning into this video very, very much. Right after I get up off the floor, I'm just going to edit it and hopefully up upload it by today. This is the CNY Eve, so Happy reunion dinner, everybody, and to everyone who doesn't celebrate Lunar New Year, have a good break anyway. It's going to be a long weekend, and I definitely need this break. I could use some rest, and I hope that everyone is healthy, well, and will have a real blast. Okay, I'll see you guys in my next video, whenever that will be. <laughs> see you guys, bye!